Welcome to MAKE, Hands-On Intro to Engineering Design, a course taught at the University of South Florida. In this video, we are going to give a brief introduction of parts in Autodesk Inventor. Hello. In today's video, we're going to be discussing parts in a little more detail. If you recall, a part is a 3D representation uh, of a solid body in Autodesk Inventor. Uh, and then with parts, you can either render images of these models, you could um, apply useful constraints to create assemblies or render a 2D mechanical drawing so that you could give this information to a machinist and he could then machine the part for you. Uh, some basic information here, if you open the welcome screen you can get the new file dialog. This is how we'll be able to create a new part after just opening Inventor. Alternatively you could use the hotkey Control N <clears throat> or just select File New from the Inventor menu. They all bring up the Create New File dialog. Once the Create New File dialog has been opened, uh, you'll see several templates for parts. We won't be discussing sheet metal parts in this series, um, so these are the two options you will have for creating a new part. You can select either the standard uh, English units, <clears throat> uh, noted here by DIN, and, or you can connect, uh, select the standard millimeter part. I prefer to work with millimeters, so I will select that. Um, so now we can uh, start looking more into the interface of parts and some of the basic things about parts. Once you've opened a new part, you'll be placed into the part environment. Uh, as you can see, the 3D model ribbon is displayed on the top of the window. Uh, this is the ribbon that you'll most mostly be working with when building parts or modifying them. We can go through each of the uh, features here in detail. Um, the first button on the far left is probably the most important and that is to create a 2D sketch. A 2D sketch is a planar 2D drawing that can then be uh, used to create a 3D body by using the uh, following tools here including Extrude, Revolve, Loft, and Sweep. Uh, these will all be discussed later in some following videos. In addition, once you have a solid body, you can modify that with these objects here located uh, on the Modify portion of the 3D Model tab. Uh, these include adding holes, fillets, chamfers, drafts, thread, etc. Uh, if you need to create any sort of work features such as uh, planes or axes to use as reference geometry. You can do that here in the work features section. And finally, if you'd like to create any sort of patterns, they have a pattern portion of the tab and this allows you to create rectangular arrays of features, uh, circular patterns around an axis, or to mirror features across a plane. Now we can discuss the model tree a little in a little more detail. The main part, uh, parent object of the model tree, is the part itself. Um, if you right click on the part, uh, it allows you to get some interesting information, including the eye properties of the part. When you click the eye properties, it brings up the properties menu. And most importantly to us, here are the physical properties. In this location, you can define the material type, the density, um, and other features as well as have the software calculate uh, important physical properties such as the mass and volume as well as some of the uh, moments of inertia. Additionally in the uh, model tree here we have the origin folder. This contains several references for uh, planes that are predefined around the axes including the YZ, XZ, and XY planes and additionally they're the principal axes X, Y, and Z as well as a center point. And these all provide some reference geometry for when you begin your sketch uh, to place your part around the origin in space. That is all we will be discussing in this video. Thank you. This concludes our video. Thanks for watching.